Hey everybody, I'm Jason Yoder. Welcome to my channel. I share with you my passions for travel and photography. And for those of you who've been following my channel, you know that one of the ways I pay for my travel is through stock photography. Had a question come in in the comments from Caleb Jones. Let me share with you what he asked. Uh, can you make a video showing us some of your tips for getting sales on stock sites? How do you title and keyword your photos and videos? Okay, Caleb, this episode's for you. So Caleb, I'm gonna be honest with you, I was going to be shooting this episode for you in Chinatown in Yokohama, Japan. But unfortunately, things changed in the world. So I'm gonna be doing it from my backyard. It's not a bad backyard. So Caleb, the process of actually creating image you, images you can sell is actually out here in the field because you need to make sure that you're actually taking images that can be sold. So if you take a look at this image, this is from my last trip out to Chinatown in Yokohama. And this looks really cool, this alley with the Chinese lanterns lit up at night. I thought this was awesome, got totally rejected because of all the uh, businesses. You can actually see the signs for the businesses in this image. Or even this one here, I thought having something with some cool Chinese writing would look really cool. But in order to sell this, I had to provide a translation. I have no idea how to do that. Uh, so again, you've got to collect images that you can actually sell. So a lot of the stuff I took when I was in Chinatown last time didn't sell. Matter of fact, I couldn't even put them online to be sold. They were rejected for those reasons. So you've, I've learned to be a little bit more selective about the images that I take. Now, the other thing is, particularly an environment like this, I'm going to be taking a lot of uh, images of this uh, background here of, the, of this valley, and then also on the other side of this hill. And I'm gonna be taking images that I can actually keyword, entitle, and describe together in bulk and we're going to see how that works a little bit later when we get into the studio well unfortunately the clouds on the horizon are not going to light this area up tonight so we're going to head around the side of the hill and shoot into the sun Alright, so the uh, sun, the sun's broken through, the valley's lighting up, we're going to rush back here to that original spot we're at and try and grab a much better image. So Caleb, that was the fun part, actually being out in the field and capturing the images. So I did capture a couple that I'm going to go ahead and develop, so we're going to head on back into the studio here. A um, few things, when I'm out in the field, I'm going to take probably two, and if it's a location I probably will never get to, three images of the same top of the same um, subject in the same spot that way in case one of the images is bad maybe the other ones are going to be good and i can use them also i'll take it from several different angles so that i can find the one that works best for me and in some cases i'll find a couple of angles and i can um, sell all of those images with the same title keyword description again making it easier on me so we're going to get out of the preserve uh, before the wildlife 
starts coming out. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, pick this up again down in the studio. Well, hey, Caleb, time for us to get all the titling, descriptions, and the keywording done. So I've relocated out here to my patio where I'm trying to enjoy the weather before we hit triple digits today. So let's get this part done. So right now I have in front of me um, in the directory where I would I store all the files from the photo shoot I did earlier. Um, I went ahead and I went through the entire development process of the images. Now all the development techniques that I use, there's so many of them, just too many for me to include in this video, so I'll do that a little bit later on. I exported everything out, every image I want to be able to uh, uh, put up online for sale. I put, this, put them in this folder called Lightroom. Now the process I use is, it's gonna be a little bit weird. Uh, this is a process that I've used for uh, many years. I've developed it over many years, and what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to just make a copy of that folder and this one we're going to call stock prep. And inside this folder, we're going to go ahead and create a Word document. And I'm going to date it for today, 2020-0506. All right, now that files, the, all these files we're going to rename as we prepare to keyword them. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. All right, and the first image are going to be our A images. So let's take a look and see what we've got here. I'm going to go ahead and make these a little bit bigger so we can see them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with this first image, and I'm going to do all the keywording and everything else that has to go involved involve with this particular image. Now I'm going to go ahead and rename it to 2020-0506-A. Let's take a look at this image. All right, so this is an image of that valley that I took. Um, a few, actually, it was a couple of weeks ago when I took this image. So we're going to go ahead and try and keyword this. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a description. Now, the description is usually the longest part. Um, between title and description, usually it's a bit longer. So let's see, what can, how can we describe this? All right. This is a mountain. All right, sorry if there's gnats out here. I'm trying to... See my hands go crazy, it's because I am outside. Okay, mountain. I make this a little larger so you can see what I'm up to. Uh, let's see, let's say actually green desert. Oops, spelling, right? Green desert valley. Right, that's whoops, there we go. Green desert val valley with lush. Vegetation and a partly cloudy blue evening sky in the Sonoran Desert of Arizona. Okay, now that's the description. I'm going to use most of that description as part of my title. So I got that part done. All right, next up is the keywords. So when you're looking at this, you want to try and describe it how a potential buyer is going to describe it. And I'm going to start off with some uh, keywords, not just single words, but multiple words. So let's take a look here. Uh, we're going to call this, let's see, Green Valley. And I'm using semicolons to separate the keywords. Uh, desert Valley. Arizona Spring. Right. And then we can go ahead and use single words now. So I will use the color. We have green and blue in the image. This is, believe it or not, a desert. It is a valley. It's in the state of Arizona. This is, uh, let's see, oh, we also have the keyword spring in there as well. So again, what I'm doing is I'm trying to describe out this this image the best I can. But you know what? I'm I'm not going to be able to get it all right. So let's go ahead and let's go out to Adobe Stock. All 
Now here at Adobe Stock, I'm going to go ahead and search for some of my keywords here. So we're going to say Green Desert Valley. Let's just see what comes up here. All right, so I'm going to try and look over some images that I might be able to get some ideas off of for keywords. So I'm going to click on one here. And I can see a few things, landscape, mountain, nature, all these are good keywords describing mine. So landscape, mountain, nature. Let's see what this other person is. See, yeah, make sure we can use hill. Now, this is not a panorama, but we'll use these later on here for panorama. Uh, outdoors. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay, that should be good. All right, so we got some extra keywords in there. So that's what I'm going to do for each one of these. Now that's my A image. Let's go back here. Now none of these other images here are similar except these two are. But the problem is these are these two are panoramas. So I want to have a slightly different description. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my Word document, copy the whole thing. See, these are my B images, and now this is a panorama of a green desert valley. Oops, let me get panorama spelled right. And I'm going to do the same, change the description here. And now I can add in panorama. So, green valley panorama, and then desert panorama. Arizona Spring Panorama, and then I'll just add in the words Panorama, Panoramic. All right, next thing I'll do is select these two images and rename them as my B images. That's your 6B. There we go. Now I'm going to repeat the same process for each one of these different images. Like, for example, these four, actually, these six uh, are going to be the same in, are going to have the same title, keywords, everything. And then I can reuse those to create these for the panorama. So that's what I'm going to do, and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, so that's the whole thing, the keywording. But the next step is how we get the keywords integrated into the files. Because I upload to many different stock photography agencies, I do my best to try and do as little copy and pasting of titles and keywords as possible. So to help out with that, I'm going to go back into Lightroom and let's go ahead and import that stock prep folder, folder that I just created. And when we do that, we're going to see the same images that we have up here already. But this time they all have the different names associated with them. All right, now what I'm going to do is under the sort, I'm going to go ahead and sort it by file name. And then I'm going to split my screen between Lightroom and my Word document. All right, so when you're in library mode, you're going to have areas to put the title, the caption, and the keywords. And that's what I'm about to do here. So for my first image, I know that's the, that's the only one of the, of the A images, so I'm going to go ahead and select it. And I'll do all the copy and pasting here. And again, the idea is to try and limit how much copy and pasting I'm, oops, I'm actually going to have to do after uploading these images to multiple agencies. The next one, there's actually two images that are in the B category. And then for the C category, I got a couple more here. So you can see how this is going to make it easier for me to get all these titles and keywords associated with the files. So we're going to go ahead and finish that for the rest of these. Alright, next thing up, we're going to export these images back out again. So I'm going to select them all and go to export. And this time we're going to save them 
and a new folder called stock. All right, now while those are exporting, I'm going to grab this Word document and paste it inside of that stock folder. Now again, I know this is a little weird how I'm doing this, but it's based on years of experience. And what's going to happen is we're going to do a test upload next. And the site we're going to do the test upload is actually my site, www.snapbysnap.com. Now I developed this site a long time ago before I started vlogging and came up with Explore with Jason. But uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and upload these images into the Arizona Gallery. And this is taken, these images were taken in a Phoenix Noren Desert Preserve. And I'm going to go ahead and upload them. Now the reason why I'm uploading them here first is it's going to allow me to do a quick check to make sure all the title uh, key descriptions and keywords took before I start uploading them uh, to stock agencies. So let's give it a minute to finish this upload. So the files have been uploaded to uh, my website. Let's take a quick look and make sure everything works. So I'm just going to quickly take a look at each image and I can see the title, description, and the keywords have all been saved. All right, we are ready to get them uh, into their upload groups. Now, what I mean by upload groups is I don't upload everything because at, from this photo shoot at the same time because there's a lot of images that are the same. And what's going to happen is they're going to get flagged uh, that you have too many similar images in the group and they're going to get rejected. What that does is that increases your rejection rate which decreases the, the number of times your images are presented to a client. So we want to avoid doing that. So to do that, to uh, separate them out, I have different upload groups. So let me bring them up for you. So on the, on the left of the screen are my upload groups and they're by what date I'm planning on uploading the images. Now these two are already uploaded and I'm just waiting for acceptance. Uh, before I upload them to the rest of the group just so I can have a couple of agencies filter out the, the, the ones they don't really like for me and then when I upload to the sites I get more money off of it keeps my acceptance rate up so what I'm going to do is oh, one more thing before I forget we need to make a backup of the stock folder control C control V there we go now I have a backup of that stock folder in case something happens I'm going to go ahead and open up the next upload group and what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose, we'll take one of the A images, a C image, and one of the D images, and move it on over into that group. Then I'll just keep on moving down to the next photo upload group, and do that for each one. Now as I'm getting towards the end here, I'm going to spread them out just a little bit more, because these are very similar. In my upload groups, I upload about every three to four days. Now you notice that some of those files are marked footage. That's because I upload stock footage about once every two weeks. And there we go. So these are the images I'm going to be uploading on May 11th. I'll first upload to two stock agencies, not the ones I make a lot of money on. And what I let them do is filter out the images that they don't like. So the ones that they reject, I will pull from this group and the rest I upload to the stock agencies I make the most money at. And that helps to keep my acceptance rating high. So Caleb, that is my entire process on how I, keep, I uh, title, describe, and I keyword my images. I know it's kind of an intensive process, but what happens is when I upload those images with the way how I added the metadata, it does a few things. Most of the sites retain that information and pre-populate it for me. Also, by using Lightroom to, uh, to uh, copy and then paste in the keywords, if you do it directly in Windows, Windows alphabetizes it. I need the major keywords to stay up front, and that's what happens when you do it through Lightroom, is that it maintains the order of those keywords. 
So man, I hope that helps you out and helps you get a lot of sales. I'll be really interested to hear from you again if this helped you out and especially if it helped gain you more sales. So everybody, if you like these type of uh, uh, YouTube videos where we do a lot of travel and a lot of photography and I pass on to you my tips on how I make money off my photography to pay for that travel make sure you hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and I would appreciate a comment or two to help me promote this channel and remember everybody never stop exploring I will see you all in the next episode